Hey, Jason, Straight Line Performance here. Just wanted to get a quick overview on the new Catalyst 600 product. I know with everything going on with Articat in the world right now, you know, nobody knows what's going on. Um, is it gonna stay, is it gonna go? But here at Straight Line, we're still working on the product. So we've got a Catalyst 600 in the dyno. We've been really basically flogging on this thing as hard as we can, trying to make some power and work on. We're closing in and we wanted to show you guys where we're at. I mean, we actually have a production pipe on there. Um, we're just getting some fixturing and set up. So we're at our, our new dyno facility here we built. It's all set up, ready to go. We've got a catalyst on the dyno here, ready to go. So what we wanna do is we wanna get this thing started, show you a couple things, show you some graphs, uh, show you where we're at and get this out there so you guys can get these on order uh, as soon as you can and let's hope that the cat keeps going. So let's get in here and get this thing running. We're in the new dyno room here. We got the catalyst we were talking about up and running. Kind of wanted to show you the dining room a little bit. Um, it's really a neat system. Uh, this can actually do three vehicles, uh, two at a time, let's call it that. We've got one of the catalysts sitting on the dyno here, uh, new 902S Superflow, all the electronics in here, fully controlled room. We have uh, air in and air out, so we can control the pressure, heat, and AC, so it's a pretty neat gig. You know, even on the back here, you look, we got Sean's actually working on uh, one of the new comp clutch kits we got going on here. So we can kind of do two at one time, which is a great deal. You know, right now we're gonna get, um, get this catalyst, we'll get this up and running. We'll make a couple baseline poles, show you some stuff. We also found out it's definitely starving for air. That's one of the big keys that we've been looking at out there. So we're gonna have some air box modifications. You'll see that. We'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons and we'll get our pipe on there, make a couple poles on the pipe, show where we're at. Now let's see what kind of power we got. Let's put it together. All right, we got everything up and running. Let's get this fired up and show you what you got. So we are warming the machine up. We're sitting at 4,500 RPM, getting some good heat in there. Also cycling some water in there. We have cool in, cool out right here. Tells me what we've got going on in the machine. Definitely cold right now. We are finding out the difference um, a little bit. When we're at cool out 96, it's roughly, I don't know, five to six degrees difference between actually where I got my sensors and what the engine is. So you'll kind of notice that as we're going through here a little bit. So I'm getting everything baseline. We are getting some good heat in there. Get the engine warmed up quite a bit. So I like to see it's at 102, 103 right in there. And then we're gonna actually just run her through nice and slow actually. So we're probably about 110, 112 on the engine right now. We got a real good baseline run. Let's see what we've got over here. Um, right around 117, 118 for power in that 77, 7800 RPM. It's about what this thing is making, fully locks. And we're pretty dang hot too. So, I mean, we're not, um, we're not trying to make a real speed pull there. As you've seen, it's really long, consistent. So, we're making good power. AFR on this machine is right around 12 and a half we're showing. So, it's pretty clean. Um, could definitely lean this up but I mean, good for our, our baseline of the run. So I'm gonna get in there right now. I'm gonna yank the hood off, make a quick pull on that, and let's see what we got for power then. Pretty close. We got big broad power. We're in 118, 118, 118, 118. So it broadened it way out quite a bit. Um, did lean it down a couple points in there. Maybe picked up a half a horse to one horse. So you know, definitely some room in that air box. No doubt about it. You can see that. So next fun part. Let's get a uh, straight line pipe on there and show you the difference. It 
some heat back in it. And let's make some bowls, see what we got. Perfect. Let's see where we're at here. 123 horse with the hood on. Uh, AFR 13.4, 13.8. We're a little rich, which we're going to put some fuel in it. You'll definitely see some more horsepower. So we're getting some awesome gains here. I mean, it is nice and broad too. I mean, you're looking 79, 8, 81, all the way to 82 carry over here. So this has been a good program so far. So let's get the hood off and see what we got for power. Uh, we got a full circuit TV, which you guys can see, which is kind of neat here. So we could zoom in and do stuff, but actually I'd like to see what their coupler doing because that's the only thing I can't see. Make sure everything's good before we get too serious, so. friend of our Steve here coming to watch the dyno too today so all right rooms looking pretty clean we should be um, pretty close to ready to go here so we'll get a little heat back in the pipe we're gonna lock on back up let her run through see what we got see a little die down at the end that's mine because I set the programming to actually shut off at an RPM probably a little early on this run so let's see what we got here for power so, so you see right here we're at 123 124 122 so again it's kind of similar to power on removing that hood we definitely picked up a couple more so just some good gain we are getting a little leaner on the AFR too so adding some fuel will probably pick some power back up too uh, it's kind of cheating the system slightly but I mean, when you're really looking at some good apples to apples, I mean, we got a pipe right now with a good baseline with no massive tuning. We're already in that roughly six to eight horsepower depending upon the heat of this pipe. So let's get this off. We're gonna get some fixturing going and some development, but you need to stay tuned and definitely look and get one of these on order. All right, we've just finished a lot of the testing here on the CAD. I wanted to get a quick overview and kind of discuss a few things now that we've had time to analyze the entire situation on what we did here with the four runs for everyone. Now, one thing we've seen is we did some hood off and hood on testing. So obviously the hood off testing was done a little bit just to check on uh, whether the air box was holding power back already, and we kind of definitely seen it was. But let's just strictly talk a little bit about closing in on with the hood on with our current product. So, I mean, we've looked at the graphs here and to kind of recap a little bit what we've got is we ended up with 116, 116.4 on the stock exhaust. And then we're at uh, 123.3 on the straight line exhaust. But one thing I wanted to point out here, I mean, you're looking at that seven horsepower gain, but when you, when you kind of start analyzing some stuff as we're sitting here, what was kind of interesting is as our room begins to chill as time went on our sensors start changing a little bit and one thing we didn't really do here is I didn't get back in there and I didn't do some calibration so as we're sitting here I was kind of looking at my calibration here which is still live action happening and I mean it's actually right now at negative 0.8 so you kind of got to calculate that when we started out with the stock stuff to begin with we went through the entire dyno session and then we went back and okay now we're off a little bit on our calculation now so if you took that 0.8 and recalculated that back in you're actually making about another horse so you know just kind of looking at that as an overview you know we're in that seven we recalculate this back to zero and made another pull you're probably back into that eight horse we're thinking i do think with a little bit of fuel programming and adjusting here that we might need we might see some more power but we're definitely gonna get this off the dyno. We are really satisfied with the results here. I mean, you're talking, looking at this, I mean, 8,081, 82 even. I mean, you're still way up on power over the stock one. So 
It's a great pipe and a simple, simple bolt-on, which I mean, I mean, everything was done with a stock air box and a stock muffler. We do have a lot of components that we're gonna have. I mean, the mufflers are available. We're gonna have some intake stuff and we'll continue to. You gotta stay in touch, um, definitely pay attention. We'll be working on the 858 now and get that on here. Uh, if you like the videos, definitely add and subscribe to the site. Uh, make some comments. What do you want to see next on the dyno here? We can, uh, how do you want to dyno it? What do you want to see moving forward? Uh, what machines, you know, just testing products. We can do just about anything. You know, what's really neat about the dyno facility too as we close out here is we've got live camera systems as you can see right here. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can actually see the machine that's on there. I can zoom in and check it out from anywhere out there. We'll be able to get logins, so if your machine is on the dyno, you'll be able to see it. We'll also get subscriber stuff, and we're not gonna charge for it, but you'll be able to come in and say, hey, today we're gonna be dynoing this. If you wanna log in and check it out, please do. You'll see us dyno from both sides in and out. So, subscribe, check out straightlineperformance.com. Thanks for the time.